So Casey came back to vlogging. He actually came back a couple months ago. I had to watch that first video back because he is the creator that really just got me into content creation. And I wanted to make this video, but I didn't want to make it like a lot of the other videos where people talk about, you know, his filmmaking, uh, why he has a big audience. There's a lot of great creators who've covered that already that you could find. I did use AI to like come up with a list of, you know, how the internet would describe Casey. So here's the list. I may or may not have added a couple things in there, but but in this video, I really wanted to specifically cover his We Move Back to New York City video. Why? Because I knew it was going to be the most tastiest nice dad video ever. And I said tasty nice dad. Ain't that the greatest name ever? That is a good gamer tag or stripper name two sides of the spectrum tasty nice that i knew that the video was gonna have you know good filming techniques good storytelling some characters and the love of his life new york so i was like ah let's break this down for any creators out there so a bit of a quick backstory of who casey is moved to new york early uh young age to become a filmmaker became a successful filmmaker him and his brother sold the show to hbo and it was kind of ahead of its time daily vlogging elements it was a story about his life daily life with him and his brother and then started daily vlogging but at the same time he was daily vlogging in 2015 uh he started a company a tech company beam and it was you know growing together and kind of went hand in hand so he was really daily vlogging for 800 days which is nuts that's like that's crazy 800 days of daily vlogging but he was doing that at the same time for two years straight a little over two years and then a couple more years of content creation decided to move to cali after that uh go off the grid for a bit spend time with his family which is probably one of the coolest decisions to ever to ever make and then decides to actually move back a couple months later to new york and that kind of brings us to this video so this breakdown is going to be covering three big pillars is what i like to call it filmmaking techniques storytelling and audience it's not going to be very set in stone i'm not going to say hey this is filmmaking techniques this is storytelling or this is you know talking about his audience it's going to be mix and match because those all go hand in hand so if at any point in this video you learn something or you laugh think about caressing that subscribe button or pimp slapping that like button uh, i would appreciate it and uh let's get into it i'm sweating for no reason So already that was really cool what he did he's recorded this video probably exported it put it on his computer and then recorded that intro you know usually most people what they would do is just kind of have this video playing but he actually added that little bit of an element uh which is like a classic casey neistat handheld shot you've got you've got conviction and you've got doubt listen you can hear the you can hear the waves in the pacific he used a little bit of music there which was like bum, 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 and then it just stopped it was literally just a couple of bars moving to new york city in the year 2001 with no money and no education and no prospects but a really big dream and then now the music continues during this part now, Doubt was that same guy, 20 years later, leaving New York City. Doubt, Doubt was having no fucking clue what I was looking for and going to California. Classic aerial shots. So as soon as I saw that, like a drone shot, I was like, we're back. Case is back. A lot of his videos have it, but there's something about him speaking about him as a person talking about New York, doing this, seeing all this stuff, and the buildup of the music. Dum, 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 dum. And it's a little bit faster, it's a little bit lighthearted. He's already setting the mood from like this excitement right from a minute and a half into it. Much less ceremonious than I expected, but also much sadder. <laughs> We did okay in Los Angeles. I surfed and spent a lot of time with the kids and- So the crazy thing about the way he tells stories is like, it's not, 
in one set place. He's in a different place at a different time, wearing different clothes. Just the way he, he's speaking, even the tone. I feel like every time I cut something like this up, my tone sounds completely different. So he has like a very good idea of what he's he wants to talk about and how he wants to deliver it. We had fun. It, it was a good life. Okay, I want you guys to keep this in mind, like these signs. This is a big part of a cool technique that he used throughout this whole video. Nevada state line right there. And this is me officially leaving the, the state of California. And there you go, thanks. Thank you. Oh my God. It's so hot out here. Okay. So there's some cool stuff that he does here that it, it's so subtle. Basic Casey, he does these things where he's putting the camera down. It almost, it's a one man production, but it looks like a, a, a big production. You're like, how does he get all these shots? So he put the camera in the car here, press record, right? Closes it. He goes out of frame for a run. Time has passed. You can see the colors change a little bit, but the camera actually has kind of stayed put. He comes from the other side and opens the door. So what happens as a creator for anyone who's really trying to understand this is like he has come back previously to turn on the camera and then record again. Then he closes the door and then he walks off frame. Now he is running into frame and he just cuts that part out so you don't actually see it. Oh my God. Grabs so it. Also too, there's a moment where as soon as the door closes, the music comes in. And Casey is like a genius for using music, which not a lot of creators think about that stuff. Sometimes you just strap on audio or a song just because, right? It's like the, it's just the last thing that you do, but like, it's super intentional. Like, listen, just the feeling of it. When he closes the door. Oh my God. It's so hot. Right? So good. Hot out here. This is a it's hot, running in the desert. It's hot. Even there, when it goes cha cha cha, and it just cuts to him as a wide shot. Come on now. And whatever that something is, it, it first came to light when I moved to New York City 20 years ago. And I could feel that something withering. That sense of self was dying in Los Angeles. Okay, and another moment here that he he uses is audio. Right before you actually see the shot of the street, you can hear the audio from that scene. It's, you know, the road, the tires, the truck moving on that road. It almost makes it seamless where there's not such a hard cut, and it's just so nice to hear stuff like that. So listen for the audio. Los Angeles. This was not a unilateral decision. And wanting to leave... LA wanted to go back to New York City. It wasn't just me. Whatever I was hoping to find in California and I couldn't find. Okay, so uh, the cool thing about Casey is that he uses multiple angles in the same location. And, you know, he's still in the car, but like, look where he put it. He put it like on that middle console, or just somewhere lower. And it gives like a different angle or different view. The way that he makes things look so different, I believe, is that he uses a wider lens so he starts off with the close angle here then it's a little bit wider but look how wide this is so i almost feel like the shoulder of the passenger seat is like right here and if you guys know shooting in your car if you have ever tried it like this is a hard shot to get with a kit lens or a regular lens i think i remember back in the day he said that the lens that he likes to use on his old canon camera was a 10 to 20 millimeter and if you know your lens is the lower the millimeter the wider it is so fisheye I, I believe is actually between 8 and 12 millimeters so this actually looks fisheye to me fisheye is that a word it is now and that's how he makes it look different all the time because when you crop it in or even if you zoom in it just has a different feel to it how much that makes me love her. More gas. Yeah. So simple things like cutting on beat. Boom, boom, boom. I think a lot of people feel like you have to sit on sh shots for like a long time, but you really don't. Uh, some it's a beat, changing it up a little bit. More gas. Well, I made it to Colorado. 
I hope to be here like before it got dark out. But just like for tips, he needed a shot of the sign. So he parked it in front, high beams. You could see the sign in the back. He goes into frame. But if you notice in his glasses, he has his, I would, I would think it's his phone. But the reason why he's probably doing that is so he can light his face. Because if he didn't have that, you know, we wouldn't see him at all. Or he would probably have to do this shot like in front of the sign or in front of the lights, which would just be blaring so just as a cool little thing is like you know you could use your phone as a light source it's good it's decent home is about a place that makes you feel like you home is about it's about finding a location where you just, this is so cool you just fit how do i break this down for like just creators i kind of understand but i want to break it down in an easier way for people to understand I, I think some people were like oh is that like visual effects or you know how is there no text on here and then it shows up when you have a lens that's very has an f-stop or aperture of something that's very low it's like 2.8 1.8 even i almost feel like this is a 1.8 this like look what's in focus right so right now his glasses are in focus and the side of his cheek but his ears and his nose in his mouth isn't so that means the depth of field is literally this like it's it's tiny it's tiny that means that anything even further away the, the the headrest here i don't know why i'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see me the headrest here is like super blurry the back you wouldn't even be able to tell so anything even in front of that even more blurry so when he puts the lego pieces you up like you do. home is about it, it's about finding a location like, it, you could kind of see that the text is on there. Location. But, like, look, you can't even tell it's a Lego. You just know it's something yellow. And then when he finally puts it together, just, the autofocus comes in, and it shows. Because the depth of field is so tight, it almost looks like there's no words on there. And you can even see it. Like, look, this side of his hand is so blurry, and, and this. And it's, you know, it's literally almost on the same plane. So that is a cool, that was a, re a really, really cool shot. Having the full bed here is really just clutch. This is key. So like even this shot, it's a lot of work to do shots like this. You know, you're setting something up and, I, and a lot of people ask like, like why or what, what makes it so good? Like he's setting up his camera pretty far. Think about this. This is like two trees away on the floor. He has to frame it properly and the framing is nice. Like you got the two trees on the sides and regardless if you're shooting it like that or maybe if it's wider, he definitely cropped it in and he has this idea of like what looks good, right? Things in the foreground, it's at a lower angle. Uh, the horizon line right here, boom. It's the only place where I felt like I truly belong. Music, music choice. This has that, that, that make it count vibe to it. Yeah, this is it. Right, right. Ohio. Okay. Let's run it back. Remember when I told you guys at the beginning of the video to like, you know, keep an eye out on, on these signs. He had a couple shots of the signs over here somewhere. I believe there's one shot here. There was another shot here. Right? Right, right? Stay with me. And then he would get like, you know, just signage wherever he was. He was, right? As the story is progressing and it's getting closer to the end and you know, the whole idea is for him to go back to new york or get to new york it starts picking up boom now more signs closer and closer to new york on beat the, the the music is exciting and it gets you excited right he's getting closer to, to his goal to his destination to home yeah this is it right ohio the physical journey of him going Let's say it's starting from here, going to here, and then boom, you know, story, 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 first sign, story, 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 second sign, and then the very end is getting closer and closer. Boom, 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 boom. You know, the build up, the climax. I'm at 
the station. All right, and even that part was so simple, but uh, using parts in songs that are very distinct. Sometimes, I don't know, what is that, a cowbell? Maybe it is a hi-hat. A lot of people like using hi-hats or, or like a bass, but to cut to it, God, it just, it just, mm, it just. Money shot, money shot. Boom, Manhattan, let's go. This is the money shot. This is the money shot. Oh my God. God damn. Okay. We gotta talk about this this whole sequence. Okay, the use of audio. If you know Casey or if you've been a fan of Casey, you know that boosted board, that sound. You know that sound. You know that's part of who he is. There's certain characters that I or is there certain yeah, I'll call them characters. There's certain characters that you kind of just like piece together with Casey, right? The boosted board, New York City, uh, certain people. And that sound, you don't even you don't even see it. You just see the street. You just see the road. And all you hear is a zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz